Welcome everyone to the Singular Studio tutorial. This is going to get you up and running with a very cool control application that allows you to edit and control your graphics into your live stream. And it is cool. I'm honored to be able to show it to you because active graphics like this, live graphics and control like this has not been available to the masses ever. And this is a pretty cool moment in time. So. Uh, please use the Chrome browser. It's what works best with Singular, and I just want you to be happy and get through my day. So it's just, do, just use it, please. The Chrome browser is the way to go. Requirements for today's tutorial are, I don't expect any requirements other than a computer getting logging into your Singular dashboard. Uh, I expect you to have an encoder so that you know uh, how to layer uh, your graphics in over your video. And um, you can start there. You can just open up your dashboard and, and get right into it, which is what I'm going to do right now. So creating a show. Uh, let me go over to my dashboard here. And here it is. I've got my singular dot live dashboard. Yours may look very similar to this um, without very much content in it. And I'm going to add a control application. And I'm going to select the Studio Control app. And I'm going to call this one Studio One Create. It's going to drop me right into my new web page, which I've just created. It's it's a really cool thing. We're, we're building web pages here is what we're doing. You're using them to control graphics. I'm going to grab this clean turquoise white. I grabbed that from the Singular Marketplace. Uh, we, build, we build graphics packages for you guys to try out. I highly recommend you use them. They have logic built into them, which I will show you a little bit of right now. I have a very simple and elegant layout here, preview and output. I've got a rundown panel here. I've got a page editing panel, an active graphics panel, buttons up here, which I'll tell you about, buttons up here, which I'll tell you about. But the most important thing you probably want to learn is how to get these graphics on air. And that's what this tutorial is. I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can find more tutorials about uh, Studio if you, if you want to learn about getting graphics um, and strategizing how to get graphics on air and get all of the, the, the tools that you can use out of Studio. I'm going to add a page. That's where you start. These are the pages that are available to you in the in my uh, graphics package that I got. Okay, background, baseline, freeform image, freeform text are the layers that uh, you have graphics within, and the the selectable um, text lines here are the actual templates that you will be able to use in this package. So. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of different ones here just to give you an idea. I'll grab a baseline static and title. I'll grab a full screen image and text. And I'll grab a lower line small and a lower line large. And I'll grab a couple of other useful uh, graphics here, an upper right one line and then two upper right two lines. And that should give you guys a pretty good idea about uh, how to operate these and add these, all right? When I am in a uh, in my rundown panel, I can select a graphic, okay? That graphic now, ex all of its editable content reveals itself here in this page editing panel. It's quite simple. If I select another one, you'll see all of the different elements that we've created, will, it will preview, and you will see all of the editable fields that are available. Lower one line small. Very typical graphic here. I'm going to edit this one. I'll select the text line. I'll call it Sean Boy Riven. And I'm going to rename the page IDSB. It's usually what we do with these uh, small one lines is you just are identifying something. In this case, I'm going to identify myself. I have a lower line one large. You can see that I've my content, by the way, my page name has changed here, and it just shows you an idea of the template over here. All right. So my lower line one, uh, lower one line large is selected. I'm going to come down here and just call it, say this, Studio, getting uh, graphics on air. All right. And I am going to move on to my upper right. Oh, you know what? Let's name this first. Let's call this one Studio One. And I'm going to call this one. This is an upper right one line. You see it up there. Nice, nice little graphic. So useful. I'm going to call this one uh, streaming live. And I'll just call this a live bug. And this upper right two line, very useful. You know what? I'm going to take away one of these because I won't need this. I'm going to show you how to duplicate here. And I'm going to grab this. Uh, I'm going to call it 
streaming live RC Stream Studio. All right, that's where I am. Cool. So I've got my, my rundown list here. Uh, that is my group of pages that I'm going to use for this particular show. And I am going to now uh, show you how to take them live on air, right? That's a pretty important tool. We want to figure out how to get them on air. So I am just going to quite simply check my graphic, make sure it's good to go. I haven't done anything to this, but I'll take it on anyway. I'm going to select this play page in button, this play button, and you can see it in my output. It's shown up here. Pretty simple. I'll take it out. I'll select that button as well, all right? I can also right click on that page and I can take it in or rename it or duplicate it or delete it, but I'm not gonna delete it. And I can move it, I'll show you that in just a second here. So I'm gonna take it in this way. There it is. When I grab this lower one line small that I made, I'll select it, check it in my preview. Beautiful. I'm gonna take it in here. Right click, take in. Now, I've got two graphics on there. And it shows you in my active graphics here that I have two active layers, all right? Now remember, I was gonna ta tell you a little bit about layers. Uh, quite quickly, because of the time, uh, I, I don't wanna waste too much time in this one. We separate your graphics into active layers because we give them a defined set of rules for being in those layers. So if I was to say I have another lower that I wanna bring in, right? I have two lowers here. I have a small and I have a large. If I wanted to preview that and take it on air, well, in order to save time, I may not want to take it, I, want, I may not want to take out the other one and bring that in. So because they're in the same layer, the layer knows that you have two different templates that you're about to use in the same layer, and it kicks out one and brings on another because it won't allow two templates on, the la on a layer at the same time. A layer only allows one element on at any given time, all right? I'm gonna go with my live bug, because that's another layer. So now I've got my live bug in, took it in. And we use that expression in live graphics to take in a graphic. It means you wanna, you wanna get it live on your stream right now, you take it in, okay? So uh, there's my bug, I've got a bug, I've got a lower, and I've got my baseline ticker right here, which is just nice and elegant. I've got three elements on there. It shows you my lower layers on, my baseline layer, my upper right layer is on, okay? so. Uh, how do I now get these graphics on air? What you, what you really want to know is that you're creating a web page here, and that web page is your output. It's a URL, all right? You're gonna grab it up here in the top right corner using this little monitor button right here. See that web output URL? Select it and grab it, or you can copy it by selecting the clipboard right here, all right? I'm gonna copy it and I am gonna put this, this is what I put into my OBS scene. So right now I'm gonna take these off air just so they don't pop on. I'd like to actually make my graphics look halfway decent here if you don't mind. I'll go up to my scene and I will add it now, which I just done here. If, you have, if you're using OBS, it kind of looks like that. You've, you've added it into a browser source layer in your scene. Click okay and my page will update. There it goes. And I am gonna take out my active graphics package right now, just so you can see, there I go. And I am going to bring in my previous live bug that I just made. And there it is in my stream, streaming live. Real nice. Here's my upper right two line. Those are different templates in the same layer. When I bring this on, it's going to kick out the streaming live and bring on the new two line. And there it is. I'm gonna bring in my baseline static and title. I didn't change it, I just want you to see it. There it is. And I'm gonna bring in my lower ID small with my name. There it is. Here I am. Ta-da, nice and easy. Now if I wanna take, just to give you a little bit of an expanded uh, control on these, uh, I wanna take all of these off air at the same time. There's a couple ways you can do that, okay? You can right click here in your layers panel, and you can take all out. 
Now, the cool thing that separates um, Studio from Spark is this active layers panel here. These buttons are unique to a layer. So we're going to reveal these layers on or off air by selecting just the layer. So if I have my lower ID in, it's going to take on air at the last thing that I had in that layer, OK? You can also right click that, and you can either clear it out or you can just define what element you want to go live with that layer, all right? So as I tick them all out, I can also, you can see these layers are highlighted here. If I right click and take all in, it's gonna take on all three of those layers at the same time. That's not something that Spark can do. That's only Big Bro Studio can do that, all right? So I'll take these off again, all out. And I will clear the scene so that you actually are now taking that out of memory. You're taking those layers that were on. They're no, they're no longer defined uh, that you can do that. Okay, so something real quick here I wanna show you while I run out of time. I've got a live bug, my upper right two line here, okay? I wanna show you what an update animation looks like and then you're gonna call it a day. You can open this sucker up and try and kick, kick the wheels and test it out, okay? Right click, duplicate, all right? All that did was create an identical page. Why is that useful to me? Because when I'm live, I'm, I'm, I'm on air right now, and I want to keep an element of this, t of this template on air. I want you still to know that I'm streaming live, but I want to change one element on here. I want to call this one uh, Burbank, California, okay? And I want you to notice in my stream now, when I take that page, I am taking a duplicate template from the same layer, but I've updated one line of text from it, and that is the only thing that is gonna change. So between these two templates, they're identical, only the text that is different will update on air, okay? Important to know, those are the fundamentals of what makes Singular extremely powerful, and if you understand those, I'm sure you can launch yourself into the rest of it, but you can go back and find more tutorials for expanded information. Right now, I want you to see one more thing. Click on the expanded controls or expanded features uh, button in the top right of the browser. You can actually create an auto playlist. So whenever you go to the marketplace and you see a, a package that you want to investigate more, you want to see what's in there, you can click on that. I'm not gonna add the duration to those. I'll tell you about those in the next tutorial. Click OK. And it's showing you, it still has all the pages that I had there, by the way, but it's showing you every, it's populating every template that's available to you in this package so that you can kind of quickly run through them and test them out, take a look at what they look like, see if, it, if, it's, if it's got enough content that'll work for you. Trust me, we've built these things out because we've been building live graphics packages for many years. So we've put here, although it looks kind of redundant maybe to, to someone who's just coming into this, We've built these templates for a reason. We know what's most commonly used, and you'll be able to, uh, you'll definitely be able to get your story told um, with what it is that we have here for you, okay? So, on that note, I'll come back to my main camera here, and I will, uh, I will bid you adieu, and I will say, please go to the Knowledge Center in case you'd like to find out more about any element of Singular. And uh, good luck streaming.